AI has just gotten smarter. A few days ago, OpenAI shocked the entire world with the release of its insanely smart AI model that can generate an Oscar-level video from just text. This incredibly smart AI tool is known as Sora. So what is it all about, how does it work, and how will this incredible tool transform the world? Grab a seat and get ready for the ride, because the answers to these questions will blow your mind. Now let's start with the most basic question. What is Sora? Sora is a text-to-video generative AI model. This heavily loaded sentence means that Sora creates incredible videos from just the description of what you want in words. Let's say I want a video of two golden retrievers podcasting on a mountain. What do I have to do? Well, I just have to take my problem to Sora and give it a prompt that goes like this. Two golden retrievers podcasting on top of a mountain. Sora immediately goes to work and creates an immersive video that matches my description, and voila, you have this. But how did Sora generate this incredible video out of nothing? This brings us to the next part of this video. How does Sora work? Sora operates a diffusion model like some text-to-image generative AI models like DAL E3, Stable Diffusion, and Midjourney. Being a diffusion model means that once you prompt Sora, it starts with generating each image frame for the video. Then, with some powerful machine learning, it transforms the group of image frames into something that resembles your prompt. But here's where Sora stands out from other diffusion AI models. Other models consider one image frame at a time, and as a result, the objects in the video are not consistent when they move in and out of view. However, Sora brings something new to the table by considering more than one image frame at a time. As a result, when an object in a video it creates moves in and out of our view, it remains the same. So, for example, if Sora creates a video of a woman dancing, the size of her hands will not change when they move out of the shot. You just have a continuously flowing and consistent video without some of the quirks that characterize AI-generated visuals. Sora may be one step ahead of the others, but it is not above having its quirks. But before we take a deep dive into the limitations of this AI wonder, let's pause the video for a moment. Now, if you have enjoyed the video so far, hit the like button, and you are also welcome to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification. So, what are the limitations of Sora? Let's take a look at Sora's two major limitations, but would these affect how we use it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves and stick to our limitations for now. So first off, Sora sucks at physics. This is bad because the AI model does not understand cause and effect. Let's see this video generated by Sora. So the prompt wants a video of a basketball going through the hoop and exploding, and this is what Sora created. In this video, did you notice that the ball explodes and damages the net, but somehow it gets restored? This is a classic flaw in Sora's knowledge. The AI model presents causes perfectly but sucks when it comes to follow through. The second is that despite Sora's advancement, it is not 100% immune to creating videos with those tiny quirks that show that the video is AI generated. So you still have things like objects in the video overlapping and shifting unnaturally. However, make no mistakes. Sora may have its weak points, but the AI tool is one of a kind and will change the way we do a lot of things. So what are Sora's use cases? Here are four ways Sora will change the way we do things. Number one, with Sora, generating social media content has not been this easy. You can use the AI tool to create content, and beyond that, you can also create futuristic videos like this one with a scene from Lagos, Nigeria, in 2056. Number two, Sora will cut the cost of advertising and marketing. Because with the tool, you can make ad videos for a fraction of what they used to be. Number three, Sora is a very useful tool for demonstrating ideas quickly. So, with Sora, you can generate a prototype of what you intend to build before building it. Number four, privacy has always been an issue when it comes to using data. But that's where Sora comes to the rescue. With Sora, you can generate mock-up video data that is similar to the original for public use. And that's four use cases of this incredible AI tool, but that's just the tip of the iceberg because Sora has way more applications. So head down to the comments section and let's hear other ways we can use this incredible AI model. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.